you should have the perfect understanding that the journey you're about to embark on will not come without resistance. Those souls on the journey towards light are the only and the greatest threat to the rule of the dark brothers above and below. They have prepared roadblocks for all souls from birth, food, combinations of food, meat, such a diet that is not conducive for the vessel to be a perfect conductor of light. The liquor store on every city block, alcohol by itself and in combination with food and gluttony are the limited comforts sought by the soul trapped in darkness. The only short-term release from the reality they think they cannot escape, but the comfort of the food and the liquor is short-lived. But the damage is everlasting as the alcohol and the food ferment over time, poisoning the blood which carries the life force, then slowly manifesting in the vibration we know as death. Even the youngest and the innocent minds are given access to exploitation of sex and vices in the early stages of life, accomplishing this in their dark arts and mental conditioning. So even the young and the innocent begin from an early age, robbing the body of the life force without understanding how to replenish it killing the seed like no other, because the sexual energy is the strongest of them all. Lastly, they indoctrinate us from a young age by various mediums in their system, encouraging us and giving us incentives to get in touch with our lower selves, our desire nature, and emotions. All these low in vibration. In the art of alchemy, they are called the dross, the unwanted part of any base metal. In this process of life, we all begin as base metals, base metals that is to be transmuted into gold. But the dross, the unwanted parts of ourselves must be transmuted and not embraced. The one truth is regardless of the avenue or the particulars of the job, the one mission of every soul on earth is to transmute darkness into light. And all knowledge acquired during this time is to return to the Father in unity. Once the individual has attained a certain level of light, the lower nature or the dross is completely destroyed. Even though your eyes are open in the day, they set traps for the seekers at night. Even in your dream state, the order of the dark brothers come for the regenerative seed, the germ in every man and woman. It is the fruit of the tree of life. The regenerative seed is the key to the higher levels of consciousness behind this third dimension. It is the kingdom of heaven on earth. Even the strongest men and women of will, they send sexual temptations in the night. They know the date of your seed better than you. And so when you begin to keep track of time and the seed, you will notice the sexual temptation is heightened around the time of the moon phase of your birth. The dark brothers from above and their servants below have placed a yoke on you to keep the Christ consciousness or the spirit of the divine dormant in man and woman. The yoke placed on the physical is to prevent you from being at one with the spiritual body. The veil of total limitation. 1 Corinthians 15 and 44. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. You have a natural body which is the physical and you have a spiritual body. A yoke has been placed on the physical. But by who and who is tempting you to squander the seed at nights? The Emerald Tablets of Thoth, Tablet 6, The Key to Magic. Magic brought into man by the power of darkness. Magic enshrouded in man sold with darkness. Banded together in an order, a secret order, the brothers of darkness. Silently and secretly use they their power, enslaving and binding the souls of men. Dark is the way of the dark brothers travel. Traveling over the earth, they walk through man's dreams. Into man's mind space reach the dark brothers. Around it they close the veil of their night. Through its lifetime that soul dwells in bondage. Now let's get some clarity. The dark brothers, black magicians, who fought against the children of light, attempted to hold and pull back those whom the children of light are trying to bring into light. For example, I'm a child of light, and what I'm doing on this platform is to bring others into light. Before I began, they tried to entice me with things to derail me from taking this path. Now once I'm on this path, they're trying to stop me from bringing others into light. The Black Brotherhood has an organization known as the Black Dog Puss. They pattern their organization after that of the White Lodge and oftentimes deceive men into thinking they are the White Lodge. They help men to gain certain things and power until they have them in their toils. Then when there is no escape, they clamp down. They have certain specific powers developed opening the seventh dimension and calling in elementals. Ever heard any artist saying all of a sudden they begin to see things and people begin to call them crazy? They have the power of mind control through thought transference and hypnosis. If one surrenders to the Black Brotherhood and signs his name in their book, he is bounded to them during that incarnation. For that lifetime, 
that you signed that book, you are bounded, and I have seen that book. The Black Brotherhood always tries to pull down the person who has gained development along the path of light.